What we're watching in Ukraine is high-stakes political drama, violent protests, bullets, and rocks. A president accused of corruption holding on to power. A former world heavyweight boxing champion, now a leader of the opposition. But can a deal announced Friday between the president and his political rivals end this crisis? We begin with this report from John Gilmore. An explosion of violence. A bloody showdown in Kiev. Dozens killed, hundreds injured, in the deadliest week of clashes since protests began last November. That's when Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych pulled out of a trade agreement with the European Union. Instead, he turned to Russia, accepting an offer worth $15 billion to help bail out Ukraine's ailing economy. Those Ukrainians who see their future more with the EU than with Russia were furious over the U-turn and took to the streets. And when anti-protest laws were introduced in January, the situation worsened. Then, all hell broke loose this week. Who are the protesters and what do they want? Some are led by former world heavyweight boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko. Others back former Ukrainian Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko. And some are linked to far right-wing groups, Ukrainian nationalists who have led attacks against the police. Many want closer ties to Europe. All accuse Yanukovych of corruption and they want him to resign. Under pressure, on Friday, Yanukovych struck a deal with the opposition. Key elements of the agreement? A presidential election to be held by year's end. A national unity government to be formed within days. Changes to the constitution to balance the powers of the president, government and parliament. All acts of violence over the last few months are to be investigated, and many of the protesters still insist Yanukovych must go now. Meanwhile, Ukraine may be one nation, but it's a country divided, split by history, politics, geography, and language, right in the middle between the European Union and Russia, where East meets West. Under Moscow's influence for hundreds of years, it only won independence in 1991. The area to the east still has close links with Russia, and about one-third of Ukraine's 45 million people speak Russian. The western half of the country is mainly Ukrainian-speaking. Large numbers there see Ukraine's future tied to Europe. Now, Ukraine is caught in a political tug-of-war. Russian President Vladimir Putin wants to restore Moscow's power and keep Ukraine inside its sphere of influence. It hopes Ukraine will join a Russian-led customs union that already includes Kazakhstan and Belarus. On the other hand, there's the European Union. It sees Ukraine as a major market on its doorstep. But full EU membership is not likely anytime soon. So, the stakes are high. A young nation caught between East and West now on the brink. What direction will it take? Will the deal between the opposition and President Yanukovych bring peace? Or will it be a bloody journey ahead? John Gilmore, CCTV.